let's talk about a very popular question that I get asked about all the time. And that is, can a blockage be cleared without a stent? So friends, what is a blockage made of? A blockage is made of bad cholesterol, fat, inflammatory cells, and a cap that usually covers the blockage, separating it from the blood flow in the blood vessel. So how can we clear it? Friends, there is no real way to clear a blockage completely unless we go in and do something about it. For example, when we go in during the catheterization procedure, we can use a balloon to stretch the vessel out. And after stretching the balloon out, we can place a stent to keep the blood vessel open. Now, please mind what we are doing in this procedure is stretching the vessel out and pushing the blockage against the vessel wall. We don't actually go in and suck the blockage out before putting a stent in, as sometimes people tend to get confused about that. Sometimes we also have specialized techniques like drilling through the calcium plaque or we have laser therapy. We use all of these to modify the blockage so that it breaks down into tiny particles, but the body takes care of it. We don't usually go in and suck the blockage out. The only time we go in and suck a blockage out when it is a very acute onset heart attack and the blockage was freshly created. It is a thrombus soft blockage that will actually be sucked through a vacuum kind of procedure. Otherwise, the chronic blockages that you, someone has had for months or years cannot actually be sucked out. What we can do about those if the blockages are less than 60 to 70 percent is basically take medications so that the blockage does not become bigger and does not cause a worse or a severe blockage. Medications like aspirin or cholesterol lowering medications like statin, what they do is to stabilize the plaque, make sure it does not increase and also Make sure that the cap, the fibrous cap of the plaque does not rupture because when the cap of the blockage ruptures, that's when the heart attack happens. The other thing that we can do if you have been diagnosed with blockages is to change your lifestyle so that the blockage will not become severe or worse and it will not rupture. So taking a heart healthy diet, avoiding processed foods, avoiding red meat, avoiding smoking and taking fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, freshly cooked food and a low sodium diet. All of this will really help in making sure to stabilize the plaque. Also, having a very good blood pressure control is very important because a high blood pressure predisposes you to a heart attack as well. So my friends, the short answer to the commonly asked question whether a blockage can be completely cleared without a stent is no. But that's not what we want. We are not wanting to remove the blockage. What we want is for the blockage to stabilize, not increase in size and not rupture so that you do not have a heart attack and so that your symptoms are controlled. We have really good medications these days in addition to the procedures that can be done if the blockage is severe. And so if you are suffering from blockages, please consult with your cardiologist to make sure you are getting the latest treatment and management for the blockages. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to comment in the box. Thank you so much.